So a little while ago, um, we were driving around on the islands and we saw something across a meadow. Uh, probably some of you have seen it too. I see some nodding. And it was like this uh, dappling of color along the trees, uh, sort of on the edge of this meadow. And of course, we got out of our, off our bikes and we had a look. And uh, the closer we got, it was clear these were little birdhouses that somebody had put up. My wife keeps saying to me, she said, when you retire, like, what are you going to do? Like, are you going to be bored or are you going to maybe bore me? And uh, so she sort of cooks up these little activities that maybe I might do. So she saw these photographs of the birdhouses and she said, well, why don't you make a few birdhouses? So that's where really what, what this is about, that I was going to make some birdhouses. And it's turned out to be sort of a nice adventure. I have a history as a, you know, I like to sketch and I like to make small models. And um, so these were some initial ideas for birdhouses. You can, you can see there's the, we call it the Templum Birdum there, that colored one. On the upper right, I'm Dutch and uh, have an affinity for Rietveld. Well, here it is, a big up, a big, a, a closer photograph. You can see the sort of the frieze is decorated up there, or the pediment, and um, I, I can't identify that species of bird. Um, I can't even identify the actual origin of the column order here, but so. Um, so we were getting ready to build some birdhouses and we actually were uh, planning a kind of charitable event and we thought making birdhouses and auctioning them off might be fun to do. And we did that. So these were some of the ideas that we were thinking of. A lot of people built birdhouses and I'm really just showing you the ones that I did. Then uh, to encourage me, my wife gave me my very own birdhouse, which is this one. Can you see this very well? Like most of these are like iPhone photographs so so I really like this one <laughs> you know it was furry on the outside and it had a very noble sort of entryway I won't claim at all my, my wife finally gave me about two or three books on how to really make a birdhouse after I'd done all of this so some of this you know I'm not sure the birds would really come um, because the portals might be a little too big or the color scheme might not be quite right for them um, so anyway, I went down into the basement and some of the things that I'd drawn that you saw, I started to try to make some of those things. And I'm gonna show you maybe four or five. Um, so this is the beginning of one. I had some nice wood down in the basement that had been drying for a while. I'd also had a very good friend who, um, well, this is one is pretty much finished. You can see there's a real emphasis on um, both function and a little bit of decoration. Um, the roof up there is a you know, substantial overhang. I didn't want the birds to get wet when they were thinking about um, getting dry. And um, so that was one. And then I started my next one. I, I tried to imagine myself as a bird. And I thought that, you know, when a house is being framed and uh, the sheathing or the skin is not on yet, you're really just looking at the bones of it, how wonderful an experience that is. It's the transparency. So I really wanted to make sure that the birds, when they were inside the house, um, I never quite have finished this one yet. I'm still working on it. It has sort of a papery uh, roof so that the light still comes into this birdhouse so that you can still see the framing. But I thought, you know, what a nice thing to go into a house. Camps in particular, I think, are like that. When you go inside a camp, you know, there's no insulation. You don't need to worry about it, so you just have the bones. In this particular case, I had to try to figure out how to, how to bend the, because it's arced a little bit. It's a little hard to see in the photograph. So finally, I used a vegetable steamer. And the, the birdhouse was small enough that you could really sort of heat or steam uh, the pieces of wood and then shape them to that. So I also tried, you know, some of this is just uh, silliness, really. But um, I tried to imagine a lot of birds getting together and, um, you know, what kind of town, what sorts of social institutions would be at work for those birds. And uh, so I made a birdhouse that um, also sort of egalitarian, you know. 
Uh, there was no real pecking order other than high to low, perhaps. But on the other hand, you wanted to be able to identify your particular hole in this wall. And so we just took colors and we painted the inside. You can't really see it too well. Uh, we painted the inside so that, you know, there's a real nice distinguishing grading of the color as you sort of progressed. Does it read that way or not, Wendy? Yeah. So then the next thing was to build the community church. <laughs> I figured that birds, um, they would enjoy framing. They would, if they lived together, they also wanted a place to commune together. And so this is really a kind of um, little clerical building. I imagine the birds coming out of the church. Actually, if you go inside this, I should have taken photographs of the inside. They're sort of tiered seating um, <laughs> or perches. So I imagined the front. I always like that scene when, the, when the, the service is over. Like you can see, I have an affinity for sort of northern European stave churches, and that's where that comes from. But the little perch on the bottom was really intended for the birds to sit there and when the minister or the minister bird came out of the church you sort of shake wings and that's why there's such an extensive perch on the front of this so there you get a little better view of that one anyway you can see the sort of color gradation that was really so that the birds could probably the birds are colorblind but anyway um, these are not necessarily always functioning birdhouses. Most of these were auctioned off to, um, 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 I'm not sure who they were auctioned off to, but <laughs> people bought them. Actually, there's money in birdhouses, you know. Um, I used to build a lot of architectural models, and um, I think the birdhouses go for much more money than architectural services, actually. So there you have it. Thanks. Okay.